Okay guys, again welcome back to my channel and this is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo and welcome to my Edu Sci Vlog. So today, we will have our new topic for the third grading period of grade 7 science. So are you ready to know about this? Okay, so let us start with physics. Let us define physics first and then we will go to its different branches. Okay, so first, let us tackle the definition of physics. That is our topic for today. So we all know that physics is uh, one part or one of the many branches of science. And as an introduction of this, we can define physics as the study of everyday phenomena. It aims to explain this phenomena in terms of the fundamental laws of nature. It is the study of matter and energy and their relationship. Always remember that. And physics and its branches is divided into two. We have classical and modern physics. Okay? Would you like to know more about them? Okay, let's proceed. Physics and its branches. Classical physics refers to the traditional forces that were recognized and developed before the beginning of the 20th century. So, remember that, okay? And the modern physics from the word modern refers to the concept of physics that have been surfaced since the beginning of the 20th century. And under classical physics, we have mechanics. Mechanics is the study of forces acting on bodies whether at rest or in motion. Okay, then we have acoustics. Acoustics is a study of the production and propagation of sound waves. It's all about the sounds and sound waves. Optics, the third. It is the study of light. Physical optics on the production of nature and properties of light, while physiological optics on the part played by the light in vision, and geometrical optics on the reflection and refraction of light and as encountered in the study of mirrors and lenses. So those are the three subdivisions of optics. And then we have this kind of pictures which depicts all about classical physics. I know you're familiar with them also. And under also for classical physics, we have thermodynamics, which is the study of the relationship between heat and other forms of energy from thermodynamics. Thermo means heat. Electromagnetism, from the word electro and magnetism, and the relationship of electric current and the magnetism. Okay, it's property. We have electrostatics, electrodynamics, and magnetostatics rather. Okay, so under modern physics, we have atomic and nuclear physics, the study of the components, structures, and behavior of the nucleus of the atom. While quantum physics it is the study of discrete nature of phenomena, at the atomic and subatomic levels, its focus is on the invisible units of energy called quanta as described by the quantum theory. And the third and fourth, we have relativistic physics, the study of phenomena that take place in the forms of reference that is in motion with respect to an observer. For solid state physics is study of all properties of solid materials including electrical conduction in crystals of semiconductor and metals. Okay? And also we have condensed matter physics, the study of properties of condensed materials, solids and liquid and those intermediate between them. And also the dense gas Okay, it also included there. With the ultimate goal and developing new material with better properties, it is an extension of solid state physics. And plasma physics is all about the fourth state of matter, which is all about plasma. And number seven, low temperature physics. The study of production and maintenance of temperatures down to almost absolute zero and the various phenomena that occur only at such temperature. It is a very, very cold temperature. So that's all for now for the different branches of physics. So uh, again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And at the bottom, you can see the description box below. You can click there and find your online fees. Do not forget to submit it. But before you submit it, you should answer it. Okay, so this is Teacher, da Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. See ya guys!